tits at it, tucks his dick backwards, shoves it in his own butt, fucks himself, and comes in his own ass. Um... <laughs> MD Pope 2, MD Pope 2, Most Disturbed Person on Planet Earth, Part 2 of 3. A three part fucking trilogy, just like Star Wars. I'll be going over all of them. I already did the first one, so go check that out. I'm gonna leave it linked down there in a pinned comment down below. I'm gonna do the third one. I'm also gonna do Fetus Munches Volume 2 and the Porn Gore series Volume 1 and Volume 2, and Inevitably Food Bar, and just everything at the bottom of that solid waterberg. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. Because everybody keeps on saying iceberg, iceberg this, and iceberg that. And I'm just getting so pissed off at the word iceberg. I'm gonna buy an aerosol can, spray it into a fucking ozo laner, just to like destroy all the icebergs on Earth and just, you know, drown all the polar bears. Fuck the environment. Uh, so with all that shit being said, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And it keeps me doing shit just like this. Again, this is not easy by any extent. It's not easy to find the movie. It's not easy to watch the movie. It really isn't. I have to watch it multiple times to get a half-decent review uh, that's very in-depth. So with all that being said, let's finally get right into this right here and uh, do a little bit of a history lesson. So history lesson number one, uh, the copyright was September 2013. What a thing to copyright, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck do you got to call and get in contact to copyright it? Uh, and especially something like this, something you definitely want to copyright. But it was released in March 2014, the following year after the first one. It's made by the same guy, M.D. Thomas Cinema Gore, who made the first one, who made the second one, who made the third one. Uh, no surprise there. So the first one had 61 clips. <sighs> I'm telling you right now. Um... I'm going to go very in-depth in all these clips. So, in a hypothetical scenario, I I'm not sure. Maybe you couldn't see the first one of me describing this. Click off this fucking video now. This one is literally two times worse than the first one. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm not tugging your titties. I ain't yanking your dick. I ain't spanking your ass. And I ain't flicking your fucking bean. This one is actually two times worse than the first one. I know I made a joke about it with feet as much as, oh, this is so bad. And, and I was saying it's so bad that, you know, it's terrible to sit through. No, this one's actually, like, fucking horrifyingly bad. Like, in every wrong way possible. Not in entertainment value. I'm talking about just in what's inside of this movie. Um, so, on top of that, if you're looking to watch this one, but you couldn't sit through the first one, this just ain't for you, homie. Go to fuck elsewhere. Go find some, Go play X-Men Legends on your PlayStation. Uh, so, the first one had 61 clips. This one has 115 clips of the most vile, decrepit, uh, disgusting, stomach-turning, you know, headache-inducing shit you can find on the surface web, deep web, uh, the space web, the web up your ass, a spider's web, Charlotte's web. I don't give a fuck what web you go to. It's the most fucked up shit you're gonna find. So it's about 54 more clips than the first one. Now, there technically is 118 clips due to the fact that there is, like, a montage thing with, like, butt play, uh, which you're gonna go into. So technically 57 more clips, but I'm gonna just stick with, uh, 54. Uh, now the first one was 147 minutes. This one's 187 minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. Yeah, it's fucking bad. So, uh, 40 more minutes than the first one. And an extra 51 seconds just for reassurance. So, that's going to be great. Now, we're going to pull out that whiteboard and we're going to go over what's inside this movie. So, in total, you got about 41 sex clips or a sexual kind of, um... Oriented clip. So this can be sexual gore, as in people mutilating themselves. And as long as it includes like any sort of uh, any type of genitals or any sort of genitals, this is where it's gonna go. Or butts or something. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's gore or you know vomit. Well, I, I kind of put vomit in its own category. But mostly anything sexual, you're gonna kind of get this one inside the fucking sexual category. Now next one is 25 gore clips. And my gore clips, I mean strictly gore. Uh, somebody like you know beheadings. Or if somebody getting their intestines cut out or some shit like that. Just strictly gore. Not that gore can't be in any other categories. This one is just strictly gore with nothing else spilling over. Uh, after that, you got 21 animal clips. Now, animal clips is just anything animal abuse-wise. Whether it's uh, people lighting them on fire, uh, killing them alive, ripping them to shreds, or knocking heels with them. Which we're going to see a lot of that. Uh, after that, we got 15 scat videos, which is my absolute fucking kryptonite. Uh, I just can't. I, I mean, oh, God. I'm going to have to fucking, like, I'm going to end up throwing up. I'm not even joking. I'm going to end up throwing up. I'm just going to. <sighs> it's going to be great. Uh, 15 scat clips. After that, you got about six gross clips. Now, gross is uh, a very vague term. I know almost all this shit in this movie is gross. But when you can't fit into any other category, it's going to fall into gross. And that's like when they lift up this black guy's mouth and he had a whole bunch of maggots in his fucking gums. That's, that's fucking gross. But it ain't gore. It ain't sexual. It ain't animal shit. Uh, it ain't scat or vomit. Then after that, we have five vomit clips. 
some of these are really bad again now when i'm talking about these are bad it's not just the amount of clips it's what's inside the clip so inside the first one if you saw someone eating a log of shit that's terrible right but in this one it's like someone has a buffet of shit it just gets so much worse um the clips within itself uh, so after the five vomit clips, you also have two what the fuck clips, which does not fit in any other category whatsoever. Uh, it's just what the fuck. That's all you say to it. So with all that being said, we are going to take it from the top. Now before MD Pope 2 actually starts, he puts a little warning here. Now there's also a disclaimer where he says he did not participate in any of these clips and all that shit. But there's also a warning here. And it says, uh, warning, the following movie was made during several nights of excessive drug use. My mind has been shattered by a lifetime of substance abuse. And all that remains is this dark evil desire to disgust everyone and everything around me. What you're about to see has been selected to break you down and make you gag on your own vomit. Take all the scenes from the original movie that are morally wrong and upset your stomach. And be prepared to have that uncomfortable feeling doubled. Um... I would never have made a sequel to the most disturbing movie if I didn't think it would be more extreme than the original film. My goal is to bring disgust, anger, and hatred to everyone in the fucking world. And by not hitting the stop button, you have not entered my path of mental destruction. I'm a very excellent fucking reader. Now uh, now that I'm done showing off on how much of a great reader, let's open up these blinds a little bit. So, there's just so many fucking clips, I'm not even joking. There is about, again, 155 clips. I just can't go over all of them. I've made that attempt already to go over every single clip in detail for this movie. But I just can't do it. Especially some of these clips. Uh, you're just going to have to see it for yourself. I, I can't go into detail with some of these clips. Some of these clips I just can't talk to you about, okay? You're just going to have to see the shit for yourself. Um, now, with that shit being said, we're going to go over the worst of the worst. Uh, now, here's page one. I have five pages worth of clips. I attempted to fucking... You know, uh, how do I say this? Do every single clip, and it would have been about two hours long, because I'm going to talk into detail with some of these clips. But nonetheless, we're going to take it from the top, and right here, the, it opens up with Asians. Now, Asians, 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 mixtapes and Asians go well together like fucking rice and beans. Um, word from Puerto Rican. So, it's like this fucking chick who's tied up like a turkey, you know, when you get them at the supermarket, but she's laying on her back. And they have a dog that's like, <laughs> and fucking just pukes in her face. And it's just the most disgusting shit I've ever seen. Um, that's the actual first initial clip. And instead of Japan, this one's Thailand. So there's a little change for you, but still Asians in general. Now, here's one that boggles my mind. I mean, my mind is just fucking, I can't explain the shit to you, right? Um, so inside this movie you got about five to six clips of this glass of this toothbrush thing where these chicks are shitting on glass and then they they like what i mean by glass i mean like a glass table of course not not shitting in shards of glass and when they take this shit right they grab a toothbrush they stick it in there and then they brush their teeth with it and it's hearing up while they do this and they're gagging and they're repulsed by it so it goes to show that it's not a sexual pleasure it's not a fetish you're doing this for one reason, and it's for money, right? That money better be fucking well. I mean, just to put this out there, in America, I don't know, because I've seen my audience isn't exclusively from America. I've looked at the analytics, a lot of people from the UK and uh, different parts of the world. Let me explain this to you. In America, this is how this works. If you don't got fucking money, you're on the street begging for it. You sell your ass cheeks. Females typically do this one. Uh, or you become a stripper. Females typically do this one again, because in America, we love we love females. Um, or you get a job at McDonald's. You don't eat your own fucking shit. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I, I can't explain that to you. You just don't eat your shit. If you eat your shit in America, you look at it as a fucking sick freak that needs to be put into a mental asylum and get three lobotomies. That, these people are eating their shit because they don't got money. I'm assuming you can't pay your college tuition. So you take a shit and brush your teeth with it. Get a fucking job at McDonald's. You don't even flip burgers at McDonald's. It's a fucking press grill. You know what I'm saying? It's a foreman grill over there. How do you know that? I never worked at no fucking McDonald's. So don't come to assume. And I know somebody who did. Um, now the third clip is this dude has an erect dick. And he has it like through like some thing that's... It's like, you know, when they when the bitches like... To their nuts. They speed back their balls. Imagine that, but it's his dick. And instead of like laying um, downwards where it's hanging down, it's like... He's laying upwards, and she's walking with heels across of it, and she digs the heel right into the shaft. Like, she digs it in there good, where his dick, like, bends like this. And when she takes it off, blood starts squirting out of his cock like a fucking fire hydrant. Um, so there's that. And they start panicking, as you'd have to fucking assume, rightfully so. 
A uh, dude with maggots in his mouth. A uh, dog attacks. This guy getting attacked. Now, a couple videos inside this movie. Um, there's, again, it, it's like these fucking people keep on lighting dogs on fire. Now, when I see it, I kind of think of the hellhounds from Black Ops zombies and shit. That's just me personally. But again, I'm not for animal abuse. Again, I'm fucking completely against animal abuse. I don't like animal. I don't condone it in any way, shape, or form. I hate to have to put this fucking message in there because I made a, a little joke. And I'm here, oh, he, he, went, he tortures animals. He skins animals. And then he makes ass flaps out of them. You know how people are. They fucking jump to conclusions. You know what I'm saying? That's most of the exercise that most of you fucking assholes get anyways when you jump to conclusions. Because uh, people like to assume shit. That because, oh, I made a joke about dead dogs. <laughs> he hates dogs. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. Uh, now, this has to be possibly the worst video I've ever seen in my life. Now, we're going to get about five to six videos while I give it that title. Alright, be fucking warned. If you don't know what Schmegma is or Smegma, um, this message was provided to you by Foreskin Gang. Um, so when a guy is born, they either cut your fucking foreskin off or they don't. Now, foreskin has a whole bunch of nerve endings and they can cut it off so people who are circumcised don't have as many nerve endings on the tip of their penis. Whilst, you know, people who are uncircumcised actually have to uh, clean it and be more hygienic about it. Uh, so it's a give and take. Um... So with that shit being said, if you do have foreskin, your dick looks like an elephant's trunk. And if you don't clean it, you build up schmegma. And schmegma, whatever pronunciation you want to do. Or the people call it dick cheese. And he has like a white ring around it. And there's this Asian chick who proceeds to peel it back. She starts eating it. She start, And it's the most foul fucking thing. Like She licks it all this way. And while she's doing it, she licks it all this way. And it's a cream. And mind you, she's gagging. And she wants to throw up. And the guy's like, 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 do my bidding. And again, you're gagging while doing this. You're doing this for cash incentive. At least I can assume so. And get a fucking job. Get a job. Get a fucking job. Come on. Um, now, this one's another terrible video. Uh, it plays like some creepypasta music. Now, this guy's dick is sliced in half. And it looks like King Ghidorah from Godzilla. Because it has like multiple fucking heads going which way and about. And his balls are also sliced in half. So now I went from looking like King Ghidorah to a face hugger from fucking Alien vs. Predator. And um, it plays Heartbeats in here, which is like this typical creepypasta music. And he sticks his finger inside the fucking like like the, the, the ball hole. The, 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 the sack sucker. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. And he literally shoots cum out of that hole he fucking manually created at the screens. And it's just a perfect shot. I mean, just aim doesn't get any better than that. After this, he got some dildo ass nut slam. Where this guy's swinging his inflated balls backwards. Smashing a dildo in his ass. And mind you, the dildo's like this big. Because, um, you know the suction cup at the bottom where you smash it down? Not that I personally fucking use one. I'll roll that way so I don't assume shit. Um, but I've seen a lot of lesbian porn. That's just me. Uh, the whole entire fucking suction thing is like this fucking wide. And he's swinging his nuts back in some like Isaac Newton um, using momentum and G gravity science carry the two and Y equals X. Swinging them back at such speed that it's slamming the dildo deeper into his ass. This is the guy who's going to find a cure to cancer. I mean this guy's a fucking genius. Look how he just manipulates momentum and the physics and everything. This guy's a genius. So um, just go to this guy. Uh, this cannibal shit. Where this, uh, it's like a train and this one guy attacks this other guy. He's eating them while they're fucking fighting. Uh, that's some crazy ass shit. Now, here's one, here's another fucked up clip. If I tell you to go fuck yourself, are you gonna A, take offense and be like, no, fuck you, you go fuck yourself? Or B, are you gonna erect your dick and stick it up your own butt? Because this is what this guy did. He literally went and he went, he, he went and fucked himself. I, I can't make the, he went and he fucked himself. Like, he was playing with some green balloon or something. I don't know what the green balloon was for. It doesn't really show. But, you know those acrobatic things? What do they call it? Like, I don't remember. Those Olympic things where the chicks grab them and they, they jump and swing off of them. It's like this log of wood like this. He sits at it, tucks his dick backwards, shoves it in his own butt, fucks himself, and comes in his own ass. Um, and it, The worst part about this clip, there's two very bad parts that make this much more worse. First off, this is like 4K. No, it's like 12K. I mean, the quality... It's so good. I can see this guy's pores, okay? And what makes it even worse than that is this guy's in great shape. I mean, he's in phenomenal fucking shape. I mean, this guy is cut. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, he's in great shape. If he wanted pussy, he can go get some pussy. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Um... Maybe some desperate bitch at a bar. You know, I'm not saying she's going to be this most gorgeous, beautiful woman of his dreams. And they'll have a family. And be, but he can pull something. You know what I'm saying? But he much prefers to fuck himself in the butt. That's just what it is. Um, now, uh, going off from that, uh, there's this one called Vomit Lover. At least that's what I call it. This one has to be one of the worst vomit clips I've seen in my life. It's just, it's, it's a small Asian chick. She's so small, but she has so much vomit to give. I mean, it, it's like more vomit to give than Santa has fucking presents each year. Uh, yes, I'm 20 and I still believe in Santa. Uh, don't take that fucking serious, okay? I, I hate to have to disclose stupidity, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but small Asian chick, and she's just vomiting. I mean, like she's just like this, and it's just this never-ending Niagara Falls coming out of her mouth. And there's this guy, there's guys in this clip who are holding plates like Oliver too. It's like, may I please have some? And they're taking that shit. <coughs> and they're drinking that shit. And it's like the slimiest fucking shit. It's slimy. It's fucking... And when they eat, they're just drinking that shit, man. That shit ain't right. And this is one dude is laying down like this, and she just like goes over him, and is like, <clears throat> right in his face. <laughs> it's like chunks of rice. Like, I can see she had like a four course meal before this. Mind you, she's like 110 pounds soaking wet, but she's just fucking hurling on this dude's face. Uh, she's giving him everything he's got, uh, giving him everything she's got. And then the part that, that that just makes it better, the cherry on top of the shit Sunday or the turn on the shit Sunday. Um, with the cum for whipped cream. It's the worst Sunday you've ever had. Call it a, a fucking Saturday. Or a Monday, actually. Uh, she's laying down on top. Like, you know when you, you fuck your girl and you just had the most incredible sex. Like, you just, like, you didn't even, like, make love to her. You just fucked her. And she falls asleep before you do. You know, she's laying her head on your chest. And she's asleep and you hear her like she's, she's done. Like, she's knocked out. And then you sit there and you look at her and you fall asleep yourself. Like, she's laying on top of this dude. After covering him in puke, exactly like that. I've never seen nothing like it. I've just never seen nothing like it. I haven't, and I hope I never fucking do again. Uh, it's just terrible. Uh, more, You got more shit toothbrush stuff. That's page one. Three guys, one hammer. Got this guy who, um... So when I get a steak, I tenderize it with the hammer. Clink, 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 clink. Like Shao Kahn or some shit. This guy tenderizes his steaks in a different way. He cuts a hole in it, sticks his penis in it, and proceeds to fuck his steak. And then come on it for seasoning. Uh, so we all, you know, tenderize our steaks in different ways. There's this, uh, there's this fucking pussy over here who tries to cut a cat's head off with a, uh, with a butcher's blade. Like a, like a butcher knife or whatever. Can't even decapitate a cat with it. I mean, this guy has to be weaker than a fucking ant. Uh, after this, you got a schoolgirl who vomits into a plate. And she fucking eats that shit. And, uh, then you got, like, show and tell. Hey, I got my own little Fido over here. His name is, um, Zoomer. Woohoo! Come here, Zoomer. Do a little flip. You know, a little pet dog. Uh, show and tell. Here we go. Uh, Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I paid like 50 bucks for this shit, right? Um, show and tell. Now, this guy's show and tell. You ever just been to show and tell and you have the old man in the back of the room to show everybody that he wasn't born with a penis? Because that's this show and tell. Um, this guy, it's not like he cut off his penis. It's not like at some point it was surgically removed. Um, he was just born with no penis. I mean, he has he's a Ken doll with balls. Yeah. And he's hes proud of it. He's boasting. Like, he's bragging about it. He's like, look what I have. Well, look what the lack of that I don't have that you do have. Uh, like, it's a pancreas. Uh, not a pancreas. A fucking appendix. Like, you just shouldn't have an appendix. And he's the one who doesn't have it. So you're the sad sucker, right? Uh, after this, um, we're gonna look for, I'm looking for some of the worst ones, because I got them all here. TJ, Amazing Atheist. You know the Amazing Atheist? TJ, uh, the dude, fucking, the fat white guy with the long blonde hair, he's in this. Remember that video back in, like, 2012 or 13, where he poured, uh, like, hot oil on his butt and balls, he dips his balls in it, and he sticks a banana up his fucking ass, and he pours milk on his butt, like, okay, you put milk on hot surfaces that were contaminated by like sauce you know what i'm saying oh man i eat a hot pepper i'm gonna drink milk 
It's not like you stuck your fucking balls in oil so you put milk on them. Uh, it's, I, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Um, and it just sucks to see a guy that I like, you know, I really like his content. And that's what the fuck he does in his free time. Don't worry about me. In my free time, I play X-Men Legends. You know, I have a PS1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all that shit. But I prefer to play on my PlayStation 2 all the time or play on my PC. I'm a PC gamer as well. But I spend a lot of time, you know, doing that type of shit. I don't stick bananas up my fucking shit crack. And I damn sure don't put no hot oil on my balls or butt. This guy does that. Uh, so that's fucking sad. Now, this shit right here, disgusting. Uh, this is this guy who has a plate of logs of shit. And it's not even logs. It's like they're, they're cut properly. It looks like canned bread. So. Okay. So he literally has a white plate like this big with shit on it. And he's, his face is like covered in shit. And he grabs it and he's eating it like a muffin. And he's like... He's chewing it, and he's just fucking going at it, and he starts smearing it on his chest, and he starts rubbing his cock into it, he starts jerking his dick, and it's all covered in shit, and I think the worst part of this whole entire part is he acts like he ate an incredible Italian dinner dish, because he grabs a plate and he starts licking... <coughs> So he starts licking it clean. It's just the most fucking foul thing ever. Okay, it's fucking foul. Um, now this one got another incredible clip where this guy is surrounded by pints of cum. I mean, there is like a, like beer pints. I mean, he had glasses this big, glasses this small, glasses this large, glasses of all on uh, some Dr. Seuss shit. And there's just cum of like fucking different eras. I mean. This come from when Michael Jordan was playing basketball, and he got come over here from when Shaq was dominating the league, and he got come over here from Genghis Kong's reign of terror on the on the entire planet of Earth. I mean, this come that's yellow, clear, white. I mean, from like different years, different time settings, and this guy grabs each one. And he's just fucking taking it to the face. Um, and, and I gotta say, the funniest, the only part that was funny about it is after the fact that he's pouring it all over his fucking head. Uh, the guy like throws him a towel at the end. He's like, here, clean yourself up. Like, like he just got out of a pool. Uh, yeah, I guess a pool of cum. And uh, you got more uh, shit toothbrushes. A guy who has a massive dildo in his ass, and they have to remove it with like these giant pliers. Um, got some dead babies. It was like a dead baby, like a mantis, like right into its head, and there was a, a giant hole in it. Um, you got the infamous uh, bathtub drowning. There's that. You got some beheadings. Um, I got this chick who had, like, cum, and she brushes her teeth with it, and then gurgles it. Um, there's that. And then you got this other chick where, like, um, an Asian chick, of course. Got a lot of Asians in this one. Uh, just, like, feed as much as two. She vomits in a plate. She puts it in a blender. And it's all mucusy, and she pours it in the... She pours it in, like, I think it was a glass, and she starts. <laughs> Next clip, um, there's this guy covered in shit, and, um, he has, like, a fucking mask on. And he's covered in, like, shit. He's covered in shit, man. And the whole entire wall is covered in, like, plastics and tarps. Like, he took precautions. Okay, he took precautions. Um, dirty mess, but a quick cleanup. And he has, like, a gas mask on. Because that's the least of his worries. The smell of the shit. Not being covered in it. Um, wiping his cock in it. And jerking his, his shitty dick in it. And then he has, like... Uh. <laughs> so disgusting. He has like you know a turkey baster. You know not even a turkey baster. You know like that turkey needle. You know you stick it in, you go like this, and you pump it full of like butter. Some people do shit like that. He like fucking fills it up with shit, and he injects it into his own butt. So he shit to shit back in his own butt. And he starts eating this shit. I think at some point he starts eating it. And he rubs it all over his fucking feet. And puts it to the screen. Um, on some foot fetish shit. Um, there's that. Uh, fucking. 
there's these guys who hold a pig and cut it in half while it's alive. Uh, what else you got? Uh, burning vagina hair with fucking fire. Uh, putrid sex object where there's like this, like, it's like a bull or cow's head that's been skinned, so it's like blood everywhere. And they start fucking it. Um, dude was not packing nothing. It was fucking pathetic. So I see why he does shit like that. There's this guy who had a hole in his face. Um, scrambled shit eggs. So there's this chick, um, who takes the shit into a... <laughs> she takes the shit into, like, this pot. And they put eggs in it, and they... Alright, so, she scrambles it with eggs, and then the other chick eats it. Um, the guy who does a butt chug, uh, and then the other guy drinks the water out of it. That, this, this, okay, so we're gonna wrap this one up quickly, okay? Uh, there was one girl, six nostrils, a whole bunch of girls spitting on her, uh, hitting her with snot rockets aplenty. I mean, there's more rockets than the Middle East. But these are made out of snot. Uh, uh, and then they open her mouth and they start fucking sneezing in that shit. Uh, then they have the, you know, the infamous neo-Nazi beheading. Uh, a guy cut in half by a fucking railroad. Another dude just staples his foreskin. A uh, chick has gummy worms pushed out of her butt. Which is like a little montage. Uh, you know the three clip montage I talked about. They show someone punching another girl in the butthole uh, with Rocky music playing. Uh, and then this chick taking a massive dildo in the ass on a boat. Okay, so we got about a minute left. We're gonna fucking finish this one up quickly. Um, then you know the what the fuck clips? This is one of them. They, uh, it's like in Russia and then they inject a child with heroin and get them high. They, you know, that, uh, the fuck, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go over that clip. Um, I'm gonna probably make a video on that clip alone. I got goosebumps, um... I forgot that clip was in this movie. Uh, it's a clip that actually scares me. I'm a grown man uh, from New York, about nearly six feet tall, over 200 pounds, a fucking man. Um, again, I got credentials of knowing how to scrap from, you know, amateur wrestling, kickboxing, years of that, and you know, taekwondo and all that shit, and wrestling medals to my name. But this clip absolutely scares me. Um, it horrifies me. Uh, right away, I went from a joking mood to very serious. I'll probably make a video on the clip alone. Um... Yeah, it's, it's horrifying. I mean, it, it absolutely scares me. Fuck. Uh, that's the other video. Like, if you're sure most of the comments, subscribe. I'm your boy, Cold Raven. Uh, I'm going to go over that clip at some point or another. Um, the video's wrapping up because I'm running out of camera space. Uh, so go ahead and watch the movie if you want. There's a lot of shit in there that I didn't go over for a reason. And um, I'm going to go over Fetus Much as Volume 2 at some point and the Porn Gore series and um, other shit. But I will be going over this clip that I decided to skip and put it into its own video to let you know that what the fuck I'm saying is scary ain't bullshit, okay? It's fucking scary. It's horrifying. I mean, not like it's a pony. <laughs> Get the jump. No, it's fucking horrifying.